name of our Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for our visitors who are here to educate us. Thank you for the exchange of knowledge, the exchange of words. You commit this program into your hands, that by yourself you prosper it. And that whatever knowledge shall be of exchange today shall be to the benefit of the nation. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Uh, we, we welcome you all to All Nation University for this grateful program. Basically, PIAG, uh, Public Interest and Accountability Committee, as we have already said, they are in charge of uh, the, how petroleum revenue is being used in Ghana. So today they are here to interact with uh, All Nation University students. We are grateful that they choose all nations, not any other university. So we have to start the program. We thank you all for coming, and then we have a great forum. Thank you very much. We wish to thank all nations university very well for um, responding to our call and agreeing to meet with us this uh, morning, a hybrid of morning into afternoon uh, for this engagement. Um, the engagement is necessitated uh, under one of our mandates. You know, PIAC has three identifiable mandates. The first is to monitor, you know, and evaluate compliance with the provisions of the Act. The second is to afford an opportunity like this, a public platform for debate on uh, you know, the management and utilization of petroleum revenues. And the last is for us to do an independent assessment and to report to Parliament, the people of Ghana and the President. The committee has done so much in 10 years that we expected that for students who are utilizing social media in particular, uh, at least you must have heard something about PIAG in one way or the other. We are dealing with money public money generated from our petroleum resources for purposes of the development of this country. And it's important that students, you know, you, you make yourselves available to learn how those resources are actually utilized and how revenues generally uh, from natural resources are utilized. Production began in 2010, 15th December 2010. But that was very late in the year. So the revenue actually began coming in, um, to Ghana in 2011. So that's why we say 10 years of petroleum revenue management. The Petroleum Revenue Management Act is the legal, um, I would say the piece of legislation, that is the main piece of legislation guiding the management and use of the petroleum revenue. Just like the documentary indicated, having learned such a bitter lesson from the not too good management of mineral revenue, um, citizens thought that with petroleum we should do things differently. So when the uh, resources were discovered, civil society agitations led to the inclusion in the act a body which is citizen based but which is not government this body is what is called the public interest and accountability committee a 13 member institution which is made up of the following the ghana national chamber of commerce and industry and association of ghana industries the ghana extractive industry transparency initiative we shorten as Gaty. The Trades Union Congress, civil society organizations and community-based organizations, the Ghana Journalist Association, Ghana Bar Association, Institute of Chartered Accountants Ghana, Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, and independent policy and research think tanks. We have the National House of Chiefs, Association of Queen Mothers, Christian groups, and Muslim groups. So these institutions constitute the public interest 
and accountability committee. For the constitution, it was made clear that where there is no long-term development plan made by the parliament, four priority areas should be taken into consideration. And all the government that had access to this revenue do choose education to be part. But my question is, why is it that private institutions offering oil and gas have never benefited from this disbursement? Please, I'm here to ask a question on um, what are they doing for Shama, yeah, Western region? I want to know what PIAC does to ensure that after the minister or whoever had decided which area to invest in, um, what does PIAC as a committee does to ensure that there is value for money? Because from the documentary we watch, we realize that uh, most often um, we invest into areas that are not necessary, really necessary because the things end up not being utilized to their full. Government as an institution has a responsibility to provide educational facilities. And I don't think the resources enough even to meet these obligations under the general budget requirements. More so move to private institutions. I'm also not sure whether the private institutions have appealed to the government for support building capacity in the petroleum uh, oil training. The oil and gas we currently produce is coming off, I mean from offshore and not onshore, it's not on land. It is from the sea. So from a technical point of view, it is not in the land of Shama or any other community in Ghana. It is actually part of the coastal waters of Ghana, right? So it is Ghana as a unitary state. However, his right to have that concern for his community because his community is directly impacted by activities offshore that affect the community. Right? But at the moment, the Petroleum Revenue Management Act has you know, laid out the criteria for investment of money to various communities. And I can only inform him that over the years, even though there were no direct um, uh, disbursements to the various district assembly, we now have the Supreme Court pronounce, that is the highest court of the land, that 5% of oil money should go to the district assembly's common fund. But what we do is to make sure that you, the citizens, get to know, Parliament gets to know, the Presidency gets to know that this is what has happened so that those who are in charge of arresting and prosecuting will take that. Attorney General can take it up and then prosecute those people. And so I'm throwing a challenge to you, those of you who have developed the sensor. My question is, what, what, what have you done? Okay, What have you done to market the sensor? Who have you approached on the sensor? Okay, On the type of sensor that you have developed? Who have you approached? Who have you explain to you. Have you even identified, you know, within the, you know, the economy of Ghana, have you identified specific industries that can use that service? We are assisting the country to do what we call monitoring and evaluation in terms of compliance of the uh, revenue from the oil, you know, uh, sector. And then uh, creating platform just as we are doing right now, so we can dialogue, so we can debate, okay? The day for School of Engineering, Dr. Nana. Hello. I believe you all will agree that PIAC have done their job. They have interacted with us and shown what they are doing and have answered some of the concerns we have and they will keep doing that.